Welcome back, Munchy Monday followers. Today, pairing some crock pot barbecue ribs with a homemade spice rub. First, we have to take off the membrane. So let's go ahead and do that. So now I just need to rinse them under water and then I'm gonna pat them down. down dry. I just want to cut it into a few sections that way it'll fit into my slow cooker. So there are my four sections. So I'm going to let those kind of cool off and I'm going to mix up my dry rub. So we got one and a half tablespoons of paprika so we're just going to add that in. We're going to do one and a half tablespoons of packed brown sugar. We're going to do a teaspoon of salt. And we got chili powder, we're gonna do two, two, two teaspoons of this. We got two teaspoons of garlic powder as well. And then my favorite seasoning in our kitchen is Creole. So we're gonna add two and a half teaspoons of this. It just adds a little bit more kick than the others, I think. We're gonna do two teaspoons of, of black pepper. Go ahead and mix that up. So we're gonna put that um, evenly over on both sides of the ribs. And, and don't be scared to put extras all over, especially if you want it a little bit spicier or a little bit less. Just do whatever makes you comfortable. baking sheet. Um, in the morning when I'm getting ready to start the slow cooker, we're going to put it in the oven so we want to transfer to a baking sheet so that I can just pop it in real quick. Preheat the oven to 400 degrees and I'm going to slide these in for about 15 minutes just so that I can sear the ribs. Um, that way it can just relax and cook nice and slowly in the slow cooker. But for right now we want to stick these back in the fridge just so that the rub can kind of seep in. Just pull my ribs out. Um, I have a liner in my crock pot. I hate cleaning, so I like the liner, and then I sprayed the liner with Pam just so that it doesn't stick. So what we're going to do is we're going to spread a thin layer of barbecue sauce on the bottom, and then layer in ribs, barbecue sauce, ribs, barbecue sauce, just until it's done. for about seven to nine hours. Probably within those last two hours, I'm gonna cook it on high just for a couple hours. So plug it in, let it go, and then in, we'll check back in seven hours. These have been cooking for 10 hours now, so let's check them out. All right, so this is what they look like after 10 hours of cooking, and if you were here, they smell amazing. So I just took them out of the crock pot. I could barely keep them together, which is what you want. You want them to be able to fall right off the bone. So let's go ahead and start plating. So everything's ready, let's dig in. 